Finally, DeepSeek has done something no one saw coming. They've released the DeepSeek R1 model, a reasoning model that's been turning heads for all the right reasons. Within just one month of their V3 release, they've pushed out something so powerful that it's challenging OpenAI's O1 model head on. Oh, and did I mention, it runs at 1 20th of O1's cost. Let that sink in. In all benchmarks, mathematics, coding, and general knowledge, DeepSeek R1 performs exceptionally well, staying very close to OpenAI's O1-12 and 7. All right, let's go straight into the side-by-side -side test results between DeepSeek R1, GPT-01, and Claude 3 5 Sonnet, Anthropic's leading AI model, to see how they compare across the benchmarks and categories. First up is the coding test. Here's a simple question. Implement a rotating triangle. Inside it, there's a red ball bouncing around slowly. Let's see how DeepSeek R1 handles it. It's a bit of a shame because right now it doesn't support function calling plugins where I could use artifacts or canvas. It's thinking now, presenting the first step, then the next step to solve the problem. A very long thinking process, I must say. How funny is this? It says, no, wait, the vector should be pointing in the direction, then suddenly goes, wait, perhaps I'm mixing up. You can literally see it giving a solution, then evaluating its own solution by saying, wait, wait, and then self-adjusting. It's kind of amusing to watch it think like a real person here. All right, then it, here's its final result after that long thinking process. I'm opening the code in CodePen and wow, just wow. The result is so satisfying, exactly what I wanted in just one prompt. It talks that much, but it only costs me 0.26, super cheap. Some of the tokens were even cached. Imagine if you have a long conversation with it, the caching would save a lot and make it even more valuable. All right, I'll fork this chat and switch the model to GPT-01. Let's see if it can solve the problem in just one prompt. Since GPT-01 doesn't support a thinking process via the API, so let's just wait and see what it comes up with. After 27.4 seconds, here it is. Wow, that was super fast. I mean, it's way faster compared to DeepSeek. Definitely a plus point for GPT-01. Now let me check its answer. Wow, looks good. Almost identical to DeepSeek's result. Oops, the red ball is bouncing outside the triangle. Sorry, GPT-01, you get zero points for this question. But honestly, I'm still impressed by how fast it delivered the response. It cost me 50 cents for this one prompt alone. Meanwhile, DeepSeek R1 only cost $0026. So the choice is yours. All right, I know it's a bit unfair for Claude 3 5 Sonnet, but I'm really curious to see how it handles this coding problem. Let's have a chat with it. Very fast, it decided to use the interactive Canvas plugin to present the solution. However, the result is quite disappointing. Perhaps this question is beyond the ability of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I'm giving it another chance by saying, I need the red ball inside the triangle. Hmm, a bit better this time, but still not so satisfying. I think this really highlights the biggest difference between having reasoning and thinking versus not having it. It doesn't reevaluate its solution, and that's a disadvantage. Maybe it could get the right code if I keep chatting with it, but that's still a drawback and it cost me $0.1, which is quite expensive for an incomplete task. All right, let's move to the next round, the math problem. I'm using this question from Khan Academy. Find the DT, which is the distance of a toy boat bobbing on the water from the floor of the lake. Let's kick things off with DeepSeek R1 first. I mean, it would be so much easier if DeepSeek R1 supported vision via API. That way I could just pass an image of the question to it instead of typing all the text here. The AI is thinking. It starts with some initial steps. And once again, wait, let's check that. It's verifying its answer once again. Compared to the previous coding question, I think it's thinking time for this math question is faster. So does that mean coding is still a harder problem for AI? Can AI really replace human software engineers like people are saying? I wonder. And finally, here it is. The final answer is dt equals 0.2 to sine of 2t plus one. Let me check. Correct. Wow, amazing. I think this question is a difficult one, but it still manages to solve it correctly. All right, now let's check this question with GPT-01. Very fast. I'm still amazed by how quick GPT-01 is. I think speed is definitely one of its advantages. Maybe the next DeepSeek model will improve on its speed. And the answer from GPT-01 is correct. Amazing. All the reasoning models managed to answer it correctly. 
Now, let's see if Claude 3.5 Sonnet, without reasoning ability, can solve the math. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is like a very nice guy, always trying to visualize things to help users understand the answer. But its answer is wrong. So sorry, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I appreciate your nice demeanor, but that doesn't help if the solution isn't correct. So far, Claude 3.5 Sonnet seems to be lagging behind in performance without getting any answers correct. DeepSeq R1 is a bit better than GPT-01 overall, though both have their strengths. All right, let's move to the final round, the reasoning question. This one is a classic river crossing puzzle. Pretty easy, I'd say. A farmer is on one side. I'll give you five seconds to solve it yourself. For this question, I think the simplest solution is to just move the goat across the river. Problem solved. But let's check if the AI thinks the same. Starting with DeepSeq R1 first. Starting with some initial steps. Interestingly, it defined the problem as the farmer needing to get the wolf, goat, and cabbage across the river, making it much more complex than what the original question asked. But that's okay. Let's see how it solves this. It proposes a few alternative approaches. And here is its final answer. First, take the goat across the river, safe at the original side because the wolf doesn't eat cabbage. Return alone. Next, take the wolf across the river and bring the goat back with you. Then take the cabbage across. Return alone once more. Finally, take the goat across. Problem solved. All right, it makes sense. Just a bit overthinking, but I accept the answer. Now, let's test GPT-01. No messing around straight to the answer. Take the goat. Take the wolf. Take the cabbage. All right, correct. Seems like a very easy reasoning question. Final chance for Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Let's hope it can solve this problem. As always, such a nice guy, it decided to use the Mermaid Diagram plugin to visually show me the answer. Step one. Step two. Step three. Wait, something wrong with step five. I mean, the right bank with the wolf and goat together is definitely wrong. Let's check its answer in text instead. Seems like the text explanation is more reliable. All right, still acceptable for Claude 3.5 Sonnet. All right, after three rounds, here's what's on my mind. I just think it's amazing to have an open source model like DeepSeek with reasoning capabilities and yet so super cheap. But that also means there's way more room for OpenAI and Anthropic to improve their models, making AI even more affordable and accessible for everyone. What's on your mind? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.